You may be a person who likes to plan your Florida day trip around a particular theme. Most websites and books focus on locations when discussing day trips. There is another way to find something to do. You may be interested in outdoor adventure, history, museums, nature centers, historic buildings, or any number of other themes. We can think of at least 40 separate themes that might interest you. If the theme and type of experience on the day trip is more important to you than the location, then this page is for you. Florida has hundreds of theme parks and smaller attractions. Whatever you like, you can find it in Florida. Here are a few ideas. Bush Gardens, Tampa. Daytona International Speedway, Daytona. Dinosaur World, Plant City. Disney Springs, Lake Buena Vista. Epcot, Walt Disney World. Fun Spot America, Orlando. Legoland Florida Resort, Winter Haven. Icon Orlando, Orlando. SeaWorld, Orlando. Spook Hill, Lake Wales. Universal Orlando Resort, Orlando. Walt Disney World Resort, Orlando. Wikiwachi Springs State Park, Spring Hill. Florida has one of the longest saltwater shorelines in the United States, and the Environmental Protection Agency says the state has 570 beaches with a total beach length of 902 miles. We don't know who can challenge that number, but it doesn't really matter. No matter what kind of beach you are looking for, Florida probably has it. From just sunbathing, beach combing, long walks, treasure hunting, or searching for unique seashells, you can find it here. No matter what your interest is in Florida beaches and shells, the state's long shoreline means you can find it. Here are a few ideas to get you started. Bailey Matthew National Shell Museum, Sanibel. Beaches, all over Florida's thousand-mile shoreline. Canaveral National Seashore, New Smyrna and Titusville. Destin Sand Castle Lessons. Fort DeSoto Park, Tierra Verde. Little Talbot Island State Park, Jacksonville. Tigertail Beach, Marco Island. Sanibel and Captiva Islands. Topsail Hill Preserve State Park. Florida's map climate makes it home to an amazing variety of animals. So Millions of birds stop by on their so annual migratory journeys and a similar number stay here year-round. The state is surrounded by salt water and is home to multitudes of dolphins, a friendly and smart mammal. Manatees, also known as sea cows, are comfortable in the warmer waters around the state. They can't survive in waters below 60 degrees Fahrenheit, so they congregate in various warmer waters around the state in the cold months. There are countless opportunities in Florida to observe and interact with these creatures especially around Florida's many springs. Birds, dolphins, manatee, alligators, turtles, and other creatures can be observed in their natural settings. Here are some places. Manatee watching at Blue Springs State Park, Orange City. Crystal River Swim with Manatees, Crystal River. Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge, Sanibel. Florida Aquarium, Tampa. Gulfarium Marine Adventure Park, Fort Walton Beach. Farm Tours of Ocala, Ocala. Jungle Island, Miami. Marineland, St. Augustine. Miami Seaquarium, Miami. Mill Creek Farm Retirement Home for Horses, Alachua. Moat Marine Laboratory and Aquarium, Sarasota. Sarasota Jungle Gardens, Sarasota. Seacrest Wolf Preserve, Chipley. Butterfly World, Coconut Creek. Bird watching on your own. Florida has thousands of miles of salt water coastline, thousands of lakes, and dozens of rivers. Getting out on the water is a traditional way to enjoy the state and get to see a lot of things you can't see from the roads. Tours and adventures are readily available to help you enjoy the water, or you can rent a boat and do it on your own. Snorkeling, fishing, sailing are activities that Floridians and visitors enjoy all year long. Adventure on the water is a favorite way to enjoy Florida. From boating to snorkeling, it is all here. Here's a few examples. AJS Water Adventures, Destin. Boggy Creek Airboat Adventures, Kissimmee. Catboat Adventures, Mount Dora. Everglades and Keys Kayak Tours, Key Largo. Fort Gates Ferry, Ocala National Forest. Fort Lauderdale Water Taxi, Fort Lauderdale. Highway A1A Ferry, Mayport to Fort George Island. Jungle Queen Riverboat, Fort Lauderdale. Key West Express, F.T. Myers Beach, Marco Island, Key West. Naples Princess Cruises, Naples. Old Florida Boat Tour, Boquilia. River Safaris, Homosasa. Schooner Freedom, St. Augustine. St. John's River Ship Company, Sanford. Winter Park Scenic Boat Tour, Winter Park. If you don't own a boat but still yearn to get out on the water, a boat rental may be the way to go. 
The Florida Everglades is a huge subtropical wetland of sawgrass marshes in a complex system of interdependent ecosystems. These ecosystems include cypress swamps, the estuarine mangrove forests of the 10,000 Islands, tropical hardwood hammocks, pine rock land, and the saltwater marine environment of Florida Bay in the Keys. The western parts of the extremely urban southeast Florida counties of Martin, Palm Beach, Broward and Miami-Dade are in the Everglades. The rampant development in this megalopolis has created new problems for the Everglades and aggravated old ones. Also, although Naples, Fort Myers, LaBelle, Immokalee and Everglades City are in southwest Florida, the Everglades ecosystem touches their very back doors and is part of their history and future. The Florida Everglades sprawls across 16 counties, all the way from Orlando in the north to Monroe County in the south. The Florida Keys are a string of coral caves that stretch from the mainland south of Miami all the way through Key West to the Dry Tortugas. Most of these caves don't have sand beaches, but shores of coral rock. The Keys are not only different geologically from the rest of the state, the people have a culture that is unique and reflects a turbulent history. The Keys were isolated from one another and only accessible by water until 1912. In that year, the extension of Henry Flagler's railroad all the way to Key West connected the Keys for the first time. Early settlers of the Keys were called Conks, Conks, because of the main staple of the sea. Many of these early settlers were loyalists who came from the Bahamas, descendants of those who fled the United States after the Revolutionary War. In 1982 the people of Key West had a disagreement with the U.S. government, declared their independence, and briefly became the Conk Republic. Though only a stunt, it brought a lot of publicity to the Keys and cemented its reputation as home to a bunch of independent people. The image still sticks today. The Keys are for people who love boating, fishing, and the unusual. Florida parks are treasured natural resources. The old Florida that is rapidly disappearing from the state is being preserved in local, state, and national parks. It is because of these parks that some parts of natural Florida are still alive and well despite the proliferation of condos, theme parks, subdivisions, and shopping malls that have obliterated much of the Florida landscape in the past half-century or so. Many Florida state parks have camping sites carved out of the surrounding pine woods and palmettos. The campsites are separated from each other by this natural vegetation. The privacy is much greater than in the average private campground. Each campsite usually has an electric outlet, a water faucet, a charcoal grill and a fire ring for campfires. Florida parks preserve natural resources and protect them from the constant development of the state. Parks are great for camping, hiking, observing nature, or just relaxing. Here are a few we like. Biscayne National Park, Homestead and Miami. Devil's Millhopper Geological State Park, Gainesville. Dry Tortugas National Park, Homestead. Florida Cavern State Park, Mariana. Fruit and Spice Park, Homestead. Highlands Hammock State Park, Sebring. Marjorie Kinnan Rawlings Historic State Park, Cross Creek.